girls, I hope you all had a wonderful week and I trust that you have lots of things to be thankful for. Kiddos, I hope you remember what our memory verse is for the week. It was Psalm 100 verse 4. It says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. That means I know you remember that we must have a thankful heart when we come to Jesus. And when we want to spend time with him and talk to him, we must have thankful hearts. So this morning, I'm super thankful for some very special friends that I get to visit and share with you this morning. Do you know where Zambia is? It's a beautiful place up in Africa with lots of animals, some elephants and giraffes and a beautiful waterfall. But most importantly, we have some very special friends there that wants to be part of this morning's message about thankfulness. And they are from Oak Life Foundation. It is a school up in Zambia that we love very much. And our special friends is coming to visit with us today. I know you're gonna enjoy this lesson, friends. And remember, always have a thankful heart. Have you ever stopped and think about the things that make you happy? Like going to the playground, or eating yummy food, or playing with your favorite toy. When you notice and appreciate things that make your life better, we are being thankful. There are many things to be thankful for. Some are big and some are small. You can also be thankful for people. Think about the people who take care of you and make you feel safe. People that fix your meals, they play with you and they listen to you when you want to talk. You can also be thankful for beautiful things in nature, like a beautiful shimmering waterfall or a vibrant sunset. Doesn't it feel good to be thankful? When people feel thankful, they often want to show others how they feel and that is called gratitude. One way to show gratitude is to say thank you. It is really easy to do.
Good morning, good morning everybody and welcome this morning on this live broadcast. If you are new here, a very, very well welcome. We know that God is going to do great things this morning. We are so, so excited to have Pastor Didia and Pastor Annalie with us this morning and it's going to be such a powerful word this morning. Amen. Let us praise Jesus this morning, Lord. We just want to testify of your goodness in our lives. In Jesus' name. I saw Satan fall like lightning I saw darkness run for cover But the miracle that I just can't get over My name is registered in heaven I believe in signs and wonders I have resurrection power Still the miracle that I just can't get over My name is registered in heaven Oh, my praise belongs to you forever This is my testimony from death to life Cause grace rewrote my story I'm testified by Jesus Christ the righteous I'm justified this is my testimony, this is my testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Come together, sons and daughters. What with blood and washed in water. I sing the praises of the Spirit, Son and Father, our God. We'll finish what he started. Oh, our God, we'll finish what he started. This is my testimony from death to life. Cause grace rewrote my story. I'll testify by Jesus Christ the righteous. I'm justified. This is my testimony. This is my testimony. If I'm not dead, you're not done. Greater things are still to come. Oh, I believe. If I'm not dead, you're not done. Greater things are still to come. Oh, I believe. If you're not dead, you're not done. Greater things are still to come. Oh, I if I'm not dead, you're not done. Greater things are still to come. Oh, I believe. Yes, I believe in you, Jesus. This is my testimony from death to life. Cause grace rewrote my story. I'll testify by Jesus Christ the righteous. I'm justified. This is my testimony. This is my testimony from death to life. Cause grace rewrote my story. I'm testifying by Jesus Christ the righteous. I'm justified. This is my testimony. This is my testimony. Lord, I'll testify of your goodness and your mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let us please welcome this morning Pastor Didia and Pastor Annalie. 
Good morning, 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 Awakening Tree Image and Likeness family. Wonderful seeing you this morning here on the broadcast. Um, we're streaming here from uh, Chateau de Vergniol, here in the southeast, uh, south central part of France. Remote and, France. Remote <laughs> France. And we are excited to be spending time with you this morning. Just lovely to see Bridget uh, with Braden. Braden, um, you know, just on her hip and singing. This is a family ministry. Yes. And we believe in, in family. We believe in uh, uh, the strong covenant that we have as a family, as we have with God. And so this reflects the heart of God. So wonderful, uh, Bridget. So proud of you, what the Lord is doing in your life. The anointing is growing on your life. And, yes. and God is doing and setting you up We're for magnificent things in your life. <laughs> yes, we are very, very proud of you. And then and the um, kids. And the kids. Wow, uh, yes. Zambia, all the way from Zambia. Yes. It was <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> Vanessa, brilliant. what you put together with Pastor Linnell. No, yes, uh, Pastor Linnell is uh, our daughter in the faith. Uh, she's been part of our lives uh, since inception uh, when we started our church in Bethlehem. And, uh, yeah, Richelle wasn't even born yet. Yeah, Richelle wasn't even born yet. So, <laughs> so that's like, how long past the We don't talk about years, but... <laughs> has been in our lives. And uh, yes, and Oak Life has always been something she carried, carried in her heart. And uh, we got behind her together with New Life Church in Augusta, Georgia. And uh, yes, and Oak Warren, Life and Warren uh, uh, McGregor people, yeah. from... Uh, uh, Florida. So, so and so, uh, yes, we joined forces and uh, with Pastor Linnell. And uh, yes, just look at what the Lord is doing at Oak Life Foundation. And Pastor Linnell um, is carrying and stewarding so well the mandate that God has placed on her life. And we're supporting Yeah, that. I was there for actually one night yes. before I came back to France. And it was so amazing. And when she sent me, because then it, the, the Vic Falls was still dry. And when she sent me I was actually in tears because then I missed Africa so much <laughs> when she showed the rain coming down in Africa. <laughs> so it was amazing. <laughs> yes. yes, so uh, it is. It's for us. So what the Lord is doing at Oak Life is very, uh, special and dear to very, our very, heart, very yeah. dear to our hearts and uh, beautiful just to see how God has put things together mm. in only four short years, actually wow. three short years. So the farm is like a, a, a lighthouse on the hill. Yes. And uh, beautiful to see. And we're proud of you, uh, Pastor Linnell. Pastor Linnell. And yes. I think uh, we want to come and visit. And I think there's a few on, on this broadcast that wants to come and visit and see yes. what the Lord is doing in, in Zambia. Zambia. In Zambia. Um, so uh, like and share. Like and share. Let's yeah, like invite people. Let's invite people to the broadcast this yeah. morning. I see. Uh, morning, Dawn. Yes. Ah, Dawn and Annette. Yeah. And Albert and Isaac and then our US friends Kate and Rob, welcome you 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 committed early this morning and Marcia also <laughs> you got up early and we appreciate every second you spending with us on this broadcast while you're supposed to sleep and dream dreams <laughs> you on the broadcast or you haven't gone to bed yet <laughs> or you're still awake <laughs> yeah. whichever way. And so also Tracy here from Tracy and um, uh, uh, Julien, Louis from France. And then Chris, bonjour, Marie, bonjour, bonjour uh, à vous tous. Bienvenue au stream ce matin. <laughs> uh, welcome to you. And then uh, I know people, Veronica, and then from Mauritius. Woo. And then also talent from Sweden. Yes. But people from all over the world is uh, logging on this morning. And, yeah, I see uh, Blue Fontaine the family. Here. Blue Fontaine has rained. I woke up and rained this morning. So welcome to everyone, wherever you find yourself in on the continent. I believe you're on the continent. <laughs> Jean-Pierre Maurice, uh, c'est très bien de te voir aussi. Edna mm. from uh, Western Cape, Margie, wonderful, Dr. Yvette, Jackie, wonderful Jackie, seeing Jackie. you, <laughs> and Sherry and Raina de Beer, great seeing you, Dean Ferrara, wonderful, all of you, welcome, welcome, Taryn Bigwood, wonderful seeing you, the Lord is good, Linda Mans, Gert and Maureen Mans, all the way from Fraserburg, Marie Piens, wonderful seeing you, Annette Volmerans, yes, Amanda Nell, Ntom Daso, wonderful seeing you, Ntom Daso. The Lord bless you. <laughs> Linda then, says, um, even if you are from Benoni. <laughs> even if we are from Benoni. <laughs> Wherever you are finding yourself today. <laughs> yes, Linda, Linda, you and Stanley, God, the Lord bless you as well. Uh, great seeing you. I love the surname McMaster. I just love the surname. Yeah, the Martia and, um, and, uh, and the Gideon, 
the movers year, and shakers. They <laughs> Kiera Ferreira, um, wonderful seeing you as well. God bless you, Shane uh, uh, Herter. And then I saw, um, but okay, Patricia Wagner, and then also Charlene Becker. Wonderful seeing you as well from Tolva. Um, and then also uh, Kursi and Charlene Wagner from uh, up north, against literally against the Botswana border. Um, literally, I saw the farm. I think it's Stockwood or something, the farm's name. But uh, the Lord bless you richly. The Lord is doing something beautiful in your life, Kursi. Kursi Wagner, listen, God is uh, really on a serious trip with you. <laughs> wow. uh, a serious trip with you and Charlene. Um, there's so much that the Lord is exposing your heart to in this time. So um, I know that God is very working very uniquely with you. When I look at your life, it's not like, uh, you know, the usual thing. Uh, God speaks to you in moments uh, during the day. And then God just draws your attention to that. You do, uh, 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 you are very, very sensitive. You both are very, very sensitive to uh, the guidance and the leading of the Holy Spirit. Although, Quincy, you don't think so. God wants you to know that you are. His hand is stretched over you. You shall prosper in all your ways. Whatever you do, whatever you give your attention to, you're on a season where God is saying, I need to establish you. I need to establish your work. I need to establish uh, your projects. And uh, I need to settle you. And this is God's promise for you and your, your little family. And uh, that family is going to grow very quickly. Uh, you, uh, <laughs> I see, I see it's going to move very quickly. So Kursi, you and Charlene, God's hand is stretched over you. God's glory is filling your house and filling your life. And things are being settled by God in your life. God is on this very special trip. That's what I'm hearing from the spirit of God for you this morning. So God bless you. So welcome, uh, Charlotte Leroux here in YouTube land. Good to see you there. Jolene Mouton. Uh, Jolene, um, I think you are from Namibia, but the Lord bless you. Isaac Augustine, good morning from Beaufort West. My word, we're everywhere mm. in uh, in South Africa. The Lord bless you. And then Raymond Walter Reed from Groblersdal. God bless you. Amen. So, so, you wanted to say something about uh, Zambia? Um, I just uh, spoke to Pastor Linnell, um, I think it was yesterday, and she says uh, they're busy with projects there and we need to buy two sewing machines. And one sewing machine cost about 2,000 kwacha um, in rands. Let me just quickly get my, hmm, my screen went um, closed. It's 1,550 rand a machine. And then it's $80 and it's um, $57 uh, euros. So that's actually not much, <laughs> not much, but we need two machines. So if you want, you feel in any way to sew today and you just market sewing machines because we uh, really want to get that ladies busy there in Zambia and then you know, even for material because um, we're planning a lot of things to get them, you know, um, activate the ladies there because um, there's not a much work labor so and they want to be busy they are already knitting and they are already what do you croc it croc it they do all kinds of stuff oh, no. on, but uh, we need the sewing <laughs> machines we will appreciate anyone that listened today and you feel like you want to sew sewing machines yes and then uh, i quickly just want before we start i want to um Talk to the ladies that were at the last women's conference. You know the book that we're um, writing, in the progress of writing. Uh, there's only 17 days left, ladies. So please be uh, be active and do your thing and send it to Dr. Yvette. Uh, we will appreciate that. And that's also for a good cause because it's also going to Zambia for the young girls that's get into ladyship we're going to make like a pocket and uh, it's going to be um washable pads and i know uh, i know but you know it's not easy uh in the bush of africa that you always have toiletries available but i think this will help them so much so mm. 
It's for a good cause, girls. So please write your book, your pages for the book. And we are so excited to get everyone's uh, piece of um, the work in as soon as possible. 17 days. I have a countdown. 17 days, girls. You can do it. Thank you so much. Amen. I see Pastor Chris said uh, we will sponsor it. So thank you, Pastor Chris. And um, oh, thank you Marcia so Mandura. much. Oh, yes, we'll you put your name answer. on the sewing machine. <laughs> <laughs> they will work. <laughs> but anyway, um, if you want to sew into Oak Life, if you uh, don't know how to do it internationally, you can just uh, pay it into Didi on Ministry, do the sewing into Didi on Ministries with, um, with a ref reference to Oak Life. Yeah, that we'll be sure because we send an amount of money every month we are committed to amount of uh, money to uh, Oak Life to support the work there. So uh, you can just uh, then sow into DDT's on ministry. We'll be sure. We'll make sure that it arrives at uh, Pastor Linnell yeah. in Oak Life Foundation. Praise the Lord. And then uh, Aga. Yeah. Aga is moving and Listen. going forward. <laughs> We're walking on water. <laughs> We've got so many irons in the fire at the same time. Thank it's uh, you. Well, France, it's uh, Zambia, it's, uh, <laughs> South Africa, it's conferences, and we're just trusting God and because God <laughs> mandated us. And so we just uh, we just uh, praise the Lord what He's doing in our lives. It's just amazing to see how the Lord does provide, and we just uh, we just trusting the Lord. Yeah, what do you, do you want to say about Aga? No, I just wanted to say you, but between the dust and the, <laughs> the walls that's built. And everything around us, uh, there is a lot of progress. Progress, and um, yes. but you know, God is so good, and I know that God is has everything in His hands, and everything will be on schedule yes. for our retreat. first retreat. So, yes. listen, we're working. I don't want to show my hands. <laughs> it looks like I'm a, a fighter, <laughs> but um, we're doing our part. So please uh, pray for us and. Um, be part of Aga. Yes, and thank you for all our financial partners. Uh, we really appreciate all your sowing and all your giving. And uh, you are on our prayer list every day. Um, praying for you. I know that God is um, really uh, uh, uplifting His people financially, uh, which is engaging with the purpose of God mm. and with God, what God's intentions are. Now, if this, my heart is aching for, for the chapel. Now, we do have a priority list because we have to be sure that the mm. roof is, of course, yes, firstly it's done. Room. All the drainage <laughs> is already done and all of that. And now, the, the of course, the chapel is a bit of a storeroom at this time. But we need We're to, moving stuff yes, like you. you but I'm, we do go through pr moving. the priority list to get to what is uh, needed. But my heart is aching for the chapel. That chapel will be a 24-7 prayer place. Yeah, a place of prayer, a place where God's glory will be invading every corner of that chapel and on this property people's lives will be changed it will be open for anyone that wants to come past here and then of course for our conferences and our retreats uh, we are trusting god to um, uh, for miracles on this place for people having a major deep uh, significant encounters with the lord um, i do believe that this is a you know it's been a place for 300 years a, a place of prayer, a house of mm. prayer for 300 years. Now, there are portals, uh, portals of glory across this earth. Now, just like Jacob's ladder was mm -hmm. a portal where he saw uh, angels ascending and descending yes. from heaven. And it's the same where there has Jerusalem is a portal where Jesus uh, just, you know, it's just where there is an intensity of God's glory. And uh, this place has been reserved by the Lord for this time. It's been reserved by the Lord to refresh His people. It's been reserved by the Lord to uplift His people, to send back His people to the places where they need to be, where they need to manifest His glory. But God is going to do much on this property. And we are just engaging with the Lord's mandate on our lives. We are not doing this because we are enjoying everything. Of course, we are enjoying to be in the purpose of God. <laughs> but, you know, being a prophet and being also moving in the prophetic, uh, it's just like things need, need to be established and needs to be done and needs to be accomplished and just be, needs to be settled. And if it's not settled, you don't have rest. <laughs> you no, just no, keep on you going. Are. You're going through times of you know dry places. And I feel this place will be like an oasis. And yes. not just that, but uh, I feel these blueprints that 
people will receive here when they come here they will receive it it's like when god sent you somewhere you have to go to get something it's the same with this place i believe there's so many treasures that god wants to give to his kids like a blueprint for business or for a breakthrough and it's here i believe it's here when god uh, speaks to you you have to come yeah i mean <laughs> so uh, trust god for to come you know um and we're going to have many of these retreats and it's going to be power packed it's going to be intense it's going to be very intentional in what we're doing at aga um it's a mandate that we've received from the lord and i want to say to you um i'm experiencing the presence of god um in such a way today in my life that is very humbling mm -hmm. and um, it's also <laughs> uplifting me it's carrying us and um, without that we would not be able to do what we are doing but we give all the praise to jesus christ Amen. our king our lord our savior and uh, we honor him and uh, may he just have his way in our lives whatever he wants we will do amen, amen. praise god um anything else no you're I good think, yeah i'm good I <laughs> I well I this is my board <laughs> this morning i want to talk to you about what god has laid on our hearts um only during the last three days um i asked god what do you want to share with your people this morning and again just before i continue keep your uh your grape juice close and then also your bread because we're going to have communion right after this message mm. uh, i want to talk to you about expression of uh, divine loyalty expression of divine loyalty this is a time uh, in our walk with the lord that god is really putting the emphasis on his commitment to, to us you know and uh, as we trust in him as we engage in him as we hear from him as we see what he's wanting to do as we pierce into the spirit realm and as we are looking into the realms of his uh, his uh, intentions for us uh, 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 just having the vision that he's wanting us to take up uh, we need to cross the threshold of where we are where we need to where we need to be mm. and where god is taking us where god is walking with us on this journey uh on this planet and so there's much movement going on there's much this this uh, uh more than disruption but there's a lot of uh, uh, un, uh you know discomfort going on in people's lives that are engaging with the lord because god is moving and shifting people into place mm -hmm. and uh, i've been ministering all over south africa the last five six weeks and uh, these three topics were very much on my heart it's all about atmosphere us creating the atmosphere of god's presence in our lives us wanting and pressing into god's glory trusting that god is uh, very tangible uh, present wherever we find ourselves to shift hearts to shift situations to bring uh, a change into things into our lives and corrections that needs to fall into place and then also god's been speaking very much about altars altars is about how god is you know we are a a, a, a sacra um, um, a, a sweet smelling sacrifice mm -hmm. um, on the altar of god but that altar needs to be built by the word of god uncompromisingly um, mm. the way that god is wanting us to build our altars is with the truth of the word so we cannot chip away at god's yeah. word to fit our lifestyles we need to chip away at our lifestyles mm. uh, so to that fit. the word of god can fit into our lives mm. so that we can be that sweet smelling sacrifice that aroma that we need to release across this planet across this earth in our communities and um, in our lives through our lives and then, of course, when we start to engage with God's principles, God's truths, God's promises, um, God's instructions in our lives, um, it creates pathways. It's, it creates gateways. It creates open doors for God to move through in our lives. So the biggest door, the biggest present, the biggest gift we can give to God is this frail house, <laughs> this conduit, this life, this presence we have on this earth totally submitted to god so that this can be this life this life sis this life diddy your life
can be an open door for God's presence to be mm. released, for God's deliverance, God's love, God's the fruit of the Spirit to be released. So, But if we do compromise with atmosphere, if we compromise mm -hmm. with altars, the gateway, the door will be half open or just uh, there will be as little beaming mm -hmm. light through it. Or do you want the full glory of God to manifest through your life so that there would be a total new expression of God's glory that will take place in and through our lives. So this is up to us. Are we compromising with atmosphere? Are we compromising with the word of God? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, if you compromise with the word of God on health or on family or wherever or on providence, your finances, whatever, it doesn't matter. You know, it, it, it will not work for you. That's it. it. That glory on that area of your life will not be evident. So you will have struggles uh, in that area of your life. We cannot compromise with truth. We cannot compromise with the word. So atmosphere, altars and gateways are paramount today. If you want to experience an invasion of God's glory in your life, you, we need to adhere to what God is saying uh, in our lives right now. So this is paramount, okay? So you need to understand, all of us need to understand, and that's something the Lord is bringing home uh, to each and every one of us. He needs us to understand that He's totally committed to each and every one of us. He loves us so much, uh, that he sealed our relationship with him in the blood of his own son, Jesus Christ. And that blood is the big open door to our lives. So when we understand what the blood has caused for us, what the blood is causing for us every day, the opportunities the blood gives us, the positioning the blood uh, allows us to stand on and in, um, it changes the whole dynamic. If we have the revelation of that, it changes the whole dynamic of our life and our journey with the Lord on this on the face of this earth. So that is true love. If you just think about it, God gave up his own son. Now, mm -hmm. I've, we've got a son. We've only got one son. We've got two daughters. If someone had to tell me, listen, you have to give up your son, just like God spoke to Abram and said, you have to sacrifice Isaac. I don't know if I would be able to do that. I don't think I would. But that's the love that God has for you. That's the love that God has for me, for each one of us. So divinity created a divine way of love for each person on this earth to listen with ears of love. So God wants us to know that he loves us unconditionally. And he's set, he settling that love in a very strong way in his people's hearts today. In a very strong way. Why? Because love opens our ears. Love opens our ears. If we don't know that God loves us, we will not hear what God is trying to tell us. Okay? That's just the way it works. So Isaiah 54 verse 10 in the Passion Translation says, Even if the mountains were to crumble and the hills disappear. Okay? Even if that has to come to an end. God says, My heart of steadfast, faithful love will never leave you. Never leave you. God is wanting to settle that in your heart, okay? And my covenant of peace with you will never be shaken, says Yahweh, whose love and compassion will never, never, never give up mm -hmm. on you. So God says, my love for you, Jean-Pierre, will never give up on you. It will never end for you. I want you to hear what I'm saying to you today, God says, Jean-Pierre. You need to understand, don'ts that I love you, that I'm on this journey with you, and I need you to trust me enough so that you can cross the threshold, so that you can apply more of my principles in every facet of your life, because I want the full invasion of my glory to take place in your life. Don't compromise with anything in your life today. You need to trust me, because there's a anointing of upliftment that is saturating this earth today. And God says, I need my whole earth to be filled with my glory. So God is essentially saying in this portion of scripture, in Isaiah, no matter what, I will remain loyal to you. It does not matter what you are facing today. I am staying divinely loyal to you and my purpose for your life. It's a new day. It's a new version of you, which I am extracting from where you are today. It does not matter what you are facing. It doesn't matter what enemies are rising against you. Okay. God is saying today that all our enemies will be defeated because God 
is with us. Mm -hmm. God is with us. Isaiah 54, 15 and 17, the Passion Translation says, if anyone dares, okay, and mm -hmm. that's something serious, mm -hmm. okay, if anyone dares to stir up strife against you, it's not from me. Those who challenge you will go down in defeat. So I would be very cautious for anyone who comes against a person who is a lover of God. Yes. I would be very cautious for anyone mm -hmm. that is trying to harm a lover of God. Because God says, I will bring that person down in the feet. Mm -hmm. I will bring those spirits down in the feet. Verse 17 says, but I promise you, no weapon meant to hurt you will succeed. Amen. And you will refute every accusing word spoken against you. Mm -hmm. This promise is the inheritance of Yahweh's servants and the vindication is from me says Yahweh so I don't know listen I don't know what might be calling for your attention this morning but the Lord is asking our full attention today mm -hmm. and our full attention needs to be on the Lord and God will work out your circumstances God will arrange your affairs according to his purpose and his will for your life if we put our attention to him seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you so God says don't be concerned <laughs> I want you to see this as well okay <laughs> so God says I need you to put your attention on me I need you to put your trust on me because I need you to cross the threshold of um, the usual to the unusual. I need you to cross the threshold of the normal to the abnormal, supernatural, even providence of God. I've got that providence thing very strongly in my heart. There are many people here today, you are trusting God for a miracle this year. You are taking pro on projects just like we mm -hmm. are. We are taking on projects and you need to know in your heart, you don't need to see it in the natural, but you just need to know with full confidence in your heart that God will come through for you. I want to say to you that God will come through for you, but you need to cross the threshold. Your giving need to, needs to change change your commitment to the house of God needs to change your commitment to what God's purpose is for your life needs to change you just need to grade it up with a little bit more percentage and you will see how God works in your life I mean violent I mean I'll talk awareness. on that your awareness your yeah, awareness I feel like you know God is always with you he says he's wherever you, uh, where, wherever you may go he's with you so but can you grasp that, that he's everywhere where you go, he's there. His blood is always speaking on your behalf. So I think we have to expand or uh, be more awake, alert, um, attentive of what God wants to do. And it makes it, you have to maybe get quiet because some people are so busy that they can't get quiet to hear that God is already speaking to them. <laughs> Yes, I mean, that's, and, and God is calling our full attention. Yeah, full he really attention. doesn't want us to be over. Off way, no. Yeah, it, and He want, doesn't want us to be consumed with the affairs of this life. Yeah, he wants us to be consumed with His purpose problem. because He's wanting us to walk in a different dimension mm. and experience also those realms that He's opening up the spaces and places in the spirit for our lives so and that it's the natural. For us. Yeah. So, yes, and so that the natural can catch up with us. Mm. Uh, I. I trust that you're understanding what the Spirit of God is wanting to convey to your spirit this morning. So God is wanting us not to miss the season on earth, which is divinely intentional and surgically, surgically, mm -hmm. surgically performed by the Spirit of God. Isaiah 55 verse 3 in the Passion Translation says, pay attention. Mm -hmm. God says, so if God says pay attention, he say, he's saying, I need your attention now. Mm -hmm. He says, and come closer to me. So God is saying, come, come, come. I need you to get closer to where you've always been with me. I need you to literally sit on my lap. And I need you to hear what I'm saying. Because I need you can only hear what God is saying when you know that God loves you. And that he's got his uh, very, you know, he's got his best intentions in mind for you. All right. So he says here, pay attention mm -hmm. and come closer to me and hear. Okay, so pay attention, come closer and hear, mm -hmm. right? So you open know that ears, God, yeah. open your ears, 
that your total what is god's desire for you that your total being may flourish Amen. that your total being may flourish god says i want you to flourish in every sphere of your life in your family Amen. your family life in your physical life you know your body your health your finances everything your marriage any everything must flourish this is what the lord's intention is for us i will enter into an everlasting covenant with you and i will show you the same faithful love that i showed david i want to read the same portion of scripture to you from isaiah 55 verse 3 it says incline your ear in other words listen 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 incline your ear put your ear next to my chest he says submit and consent to the divine will and come to me here and your soul will revive. Yes. There's so many people today. God is reviving your soul. Woo God is bringing his yes. light, beaming light into your thoughts. Thank you, Lord. And we are starting to flow with the currents mm. of God's thoughts for our lives. And then God says, I'll make an everlasting covenant or league with you. Even the sure mercy, kindness, mm. goodwill, and compassion promised to David. This is what God promises us today. So the word of God is going out and resounding in the heavenlies. Mm -hmm. This is what God said to me Thursday morning. He spoke to me. He said to me, my word is going out and resounding mm. in the heavenlies, eating the That's ears powerful. of yeah. men and women attempting to pierce their hearts. My word is attempting mm. to pierce the hearts of my people. So God's intention is to produce a harvest of surgical extraction of divine uncorrupted purpose from his people and his bride as a whole. This is what God is wanting to do. This is what God is in his intention is right now mm -hmm. on this earth. He says, this is happening firstly in individuals' lives, resulting in tribes forming across this planet, bring divine intentional movement that is being spurred by the Spirit of God in their lives and in their communities and across this globe. Listen, so much personal present truth is in people's lives is being awakened. This is what's happening right now. Extracting divine instruction for our lives. Divine instruction is taking the front seat in people's lives jean-pierre it's happening in your life today amanda it's happening in your life today marianne Quirzen, it's happening in your life today divine instruction is hitting homes it's hitting individuals lives and it's taking the front seat not opinions mm -hmm. of people not opinions of the past not preconceived ideas mm. for the future no 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 and not natural circumstances divine instruction is being released in the realms of glory for us to hear for yes. us to embrace mm -hmm. for us to enhance and for us to engage with so that we can have, have uh, give birth to a divine movement of god's Thank spirit you. on this earth mm. so god's people are being reminded about their eternal covenant and their unique own unique eternal purpose mm, god is yeah. bringing that to the forefront marcia mm. in your life i want to say to you pastor chris in your life mm. karika in your life sharon base it's happening in your life it's happening mm. in people's mm. lives mm. bridget it's happening in your life it's not about the opinions it's not about i mighty things that people are just you know well they know it all no 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 it's about you knowing things out of your secret place, yes. from your secret place, mm -hmm. from your relationship with the Lord, where divine instruction is being poured into your heart because you are going into the realms in the fourth dimension. Oh, my word. I hope you are hearing what the Spirit of God is saying this morning. And God is re re releasing divine, your own unique, eternal purpose afresh in your heart again. Yes. Your soul is being revived. So God has captured Listen, many with his love. What does God say in the book of Revelation? Come back to your first, first love. love. Yeah. First love. So God is capturing many with what? 
is love. Is love. Is love. I want to say to you, I pray that you are experiencing the deep love of God in a measure today that's been unknown to you for a, ever in the past. All right? It's going to be deeper this time. It's going to be stronger this time. It's going to allow you to take huge steps and crossing the threshold that has always tried to limit you. And so God is, as, is capturing many with his love. So many people are becoming prisoners of war. <laughs> the, the, the prisoner of his love. Yes. And many still are being ushered in with his love. With his love. God's drawing his people drawing. with his love. Mm -hmm. I want to say to you, and with that, many abortion is taking place. Abortion of uh, rejection. Stuff that you don't yes. need in your life. Yeah. Stuff that you don't need in your life. Uh, rejection inferiority, um, you know, uh, low self-esteem, uh, where there's no confidence. Those things are being aborted because you'll be secure in his love. Also, the spirit, the orphan spirit is being aborted. Yeah, and all negative words that wants to stick to you like sticky gum, yep. it has to fall off because yes. it's not... It's not to be from on you. God. Yeah. It's not on you. It's not for you. Yeah, it's uh, for God you. is taking you out of that miry, miry clay. He's taking down. you out of that. Yeah. So what does love do? Again, love opens our spiritual ears to the voice of God. Only love allows us to hear and to listen. Without love, what we hear will only be an empty sound. Mm. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and that's why many people don't move because... Mm. They don't understand the love of God. So they hear God, but they don't move. They don't cross the threshold. They don't go into the next that God has for us. They don't go into the next uh, level of faith. They don't go into the next level of giving. They don't go into the next level of attention to what God is requiring of them for him. So relationships, uh, so loyalty is key to any relationship. Relationships with loyalty are stronger because both people can be themselves and share what they are experiencing without fear that the other person will abandon them. <laughs> and praise God that we can allow God to see the worst in us, but still believe the best of us. <laughs> because God says, listen, I've started something in you and what I've started, I will surely finish. And the enemy comes against that relationship. He comes against what God has started. He comes against your faith. He comes against the movement of God in your life because he wants to destabilize. He wants to disrupt. He wants to take away the supernatural momentum that God is always wanting to intentionally create in our lives so that we will suffocate under circumstances and not blossom under the anointing be, and yeah. the glory mm. of God. So relationships with loyalty are stronger. All right. So loyalty is key to any relationship. God, because of God, uh, because God is loyal, he will never abandon us. And he confirms this in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. He says here, let your character or moral disposition be free from love of money including greed, avarice, lust, and craving for earthly possessions, mm -hmm. and be satisfied with your present circumstances and with what you have. For he, God himself, has said, I will not in any way fail you, mm -hmm. nor give you up, nor leave you without support. I will not. Mm -hmm. And he repeats this three times. Mm -hmm. He says, I will not. He emphasized that. Yeah. I will not in any degree leave you, helpless, nor forsake, nor let you down, or relax my hold on you. Assuredly not. You want to say anything there? No. You're good? <laughs> <laughs> That's not my key. <laughs> is that your, not your key? No. So no, God loyalty, is saying, no, for me, it's like, uh, I'm thinking of, a, uh, a, what's the, Abednego? Uh, Abednego. No. The three in the fire. Yes. <laughs> Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yeah. They four were in the fire. But, you know, that shows us wherever you find yourself today, in a hard place, with your back against the wall, whatever the situation, God is there with you. And he won't harm you in any way. You can trust the Lord. That's it. I, for me, loyalty is trust. Loyalty is, he's fully committed to us. 
we have to commit ourselves to him in loyalty. Yeah. And you know, it's uh, God says also in his word that even if we are unfaithful, he remains yeah, faithful. faithful. Yeah, no. He remains faithful. We, we fall it. <laughs> but I just sent him my heart this morning. I've got something for someone here yeah. that I need to share. You know, um, many times, you know, we God spoke about, you know, we've been talking on the garments, the change of garments mm -hmm. and the garment of, uh, um, you know, salvation, the garment of favor and the garment, uh, you know, where God just propels us into our destiny, uh, the garment of redemption and so forth. So, but I want to say to you today, that your purpose is being highlighted by the Spirit of God in your life individually. And so the moment you start engaging with this, all other things around you is being touched by that. And yeah. so in other words, in the beginning, the highlight is on you. But then the highlight is being spread all across your sphere of influence. You know, with the Chateau, um, we had uh, the, 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 the window covers or the window what do you call it um, volets. the volet the volet <laughs> okay the, the, shutters, the, the window shutters were blue painted blue at the chateau also all the gates and everything but I'm not you know blue. and we are not blue okay we we just i love like blue the blue, the, I love blue. blue the, the my clothes and stuff yes but not my chateau so <laughs> we wanted to change that because the blue took all your attention yeah all right so now we've we we painted it to charcoal all right, but it's beautiful. It fades into the, it the just, building. yeah, it just, everything, it harmonizes, it. it harmonizes everything. Mm. We love that color. All right, so in the beginning, the blue took all your attention. But the moment God's glory starts to permeate everything around you and allows you allowing it to start touching people's lives and the ministry is just being, uh, or the whatever your mandate is from the Lord is being saturated by the glory. That focus is being spread around, spread out. So that attention is not all on you. All right. And God is saying, listen, I'm giving you a mandate that is going to require much more provenance. It's going to require much more consecration. It's going to Strange. require much more <laughs> sacrifice. It's going to require you to stand in love much more than you ever stood before is going to require you to handle offense much better <laughs> than you handled offense before. And so, in other words, the attention cannot just be on you. The attention <laughs> needs to be on everyone. Yeah. All right. And we need to grow in those things. All yeah. right. So, and, and God says, I'll stay loyal to you in this whole transition. You crossing the threshold of growth. You crossing the threshold of expansion. I hope I'm getting over. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, I, I trust that you're understanding what I'm trying to convey here by the Spirit of God into your life. So it's not about us. It's about what God is wanting to release through this open door. That is a living sacrifice on the altar of God, releasing a sweet aroma, hopefully, to the Lord on the face of this earth. So that we can stand before the Lord one day and hear the words, good and faithful servant. Yes. And this is what we want to hear because this is going to happen. That I don't know how far that day is. Mm -hmm from our life today or that hour is from our life today but it's going to happen it's going to happen in your life it's going to happen in my life uh, but we need to understand that god is loyal to what he started in our lives and i hear many people i see many people i hear god saying to me today alna knelt and i hear don'ts i hear many words i need i hear what god is saying he's saying you've started in you know trusting me you 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 kicked off trusting me but i'm growing you and while i'm growing you i'm wanting you to cross the threshold for bigger i want to you to cross Expanding. the threshold for expansion i need mm -hmm. you to understand that uh, the financial harvest that i have for you is bigger than what you have experienced in the past so i'm not asking you to sow according to your harvest size i'm asking you to sow according to the harvest size that you are expecting of me to the future oh my word mm -hmm. so god is speaking to people year and saying i need you to extract to get extracted from the place of habitual things in the past and and it was good but it's not enough for where i'm taking you for the new season you call for the it, new yeah. season yes the because i need you to new... understand that i'm committed to you yeah. all right i need you to walk on water i need you to know that and i need you to understand that i'm sustaining you i'm hearing martia i'm hearing Gideon. god is sustaining you 
-hmm. You're on this journey with the Lord, yes. and God's not going to leave you. God's not so going to abandon you. God's not going to make things work for you. Amen. You're going to experience miracles this year. This is a word for the people of God that is knowing and understanding in their hearts that God loves them and that they're hearing instructions in the presence of God where God is saying, I'm going to release miracles upon Thank your you life Lord. that will extract you from the old and put you into the new that I have yes. for you. Thank you are being upgraded by the Spirit Thank of you. God. This is happening happening across this yes. earth there are tribes rising and this is a different tribe awakening true image and likeness is a very intense uh, uh, tribe okay <laughs> it's a different tribe but god is wanting for you and me to understand that loyalty in the bible in hebrew means joint obligation between two parties there's a joint obligation so for us it's all about creating the atmosphere. It's all about building the yeah. altar with the word of God and not chipping away at God's holy word to fit yeah. our lifestyles, but chipping away at our lifestyles to fit the word of God. The comfort. And, yes. The, <laughs> easy. Yeah. Easy air access. Yes. No. And uh, the safe space that we created yeah. for ourselves. God says, no, 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 no. Jeez. I'm a supernatural yeah. God. I want you to go higher. I want you to go bigger. Yeah. I want you to trust in me. I want you to walk this walk. I want you to just release what you need to release and full trust with me in me. And then op that opens up doors. That opens up pathways. That opens up, uh, you know, the supernatural move of God in our lives. Listen, 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 listen. God is speaking to his people. I, I feel the anointing yeah. flowing, flowing, uh, flowing, yes, flowing. Opening. Yes. Yeah. So we have an obligation, listen, to live righteously before the Lord. Mm. <laughs> oh man, I, I know people that is, you know, grace, 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 praise God for his grace again. Yeah, but the grace, grace cannot mm. tell you to live unrighteously because the grace covers it all. That's not the way it works. God is still calling us to, uh, we are obliged to live a life of righteousness. Mm -hmm. before the lord now we've received the gift of righteousness 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 to live righteously um yes but that is being given to us so that we can live a life of righteousness mm. of and righteously before the lord and not contaminate ourselves because we with sin because we think that grace covers it all that's not the way it works people that's not the way god promotes his people no, we we are called not to live selfishly or immorally we are called to live selflessly and generously that's what the word of god teaches us and that's the heart of god that's the heart we should carry in us all right proverbs 21 verse 3 says in the amplified it says to do righteousness and justice is more acceptable to the lord than sacrifice mm -hmm. that's what god is wanting he wants us to live righteously and justly before him Micah chapter 6 verse 8 in the Amplified says, He has showed you, O man, what is good. Mm -hmm. And what does the Lord require of you but to do justly and to love, and to love kindness and mercy and to, humble, and to humble yourself and walk humbly with your God. All right, so loyalty is also the symbol of purity. Mm -hmm. Being loyal to God being loyal to his word and being loyal to our relationship with him will keep us in a position of seeing God. Jesus says in Matthew 5 verse 8 in the Amplified, he says, blessed. You know, just that word blessed is a mouthful. Yes, all right? a lot, yeah. I just love the way the Amplified says it. Blessed means happy. <laughs> it means inviably fortunate. Oh my wow. word, I'm inviably yes, fortunate. Thank you, Lord. All right? It means <laughs> and spiritually prosperous. Yeah. Wow. Spiritually prosperous. Possessing the happiness produced by the experience of God's favor and especially conditioned by the revelation of his grace. Amen. Wonderful. Yes. We we don't earn anything. Even no. our most righteous deeds are like a filthy garment rag, rag yeah. before the lord yes. but we still are required of loving righteousness mm -hmm. we are still required of preferring righteousness we are still required of desiring righteousness all right but his grace is sufficient for us to grow into the ways and into the purpose that god has for us regardless of the outward conditions god yes. says 
<coughs> and then God ends off the scripture by saying, Are the blessed, are the pure in heart, mm. for they will see God. Amen. So many people are seeing God today. Mm -hmm. So many people are entering into the realm where they have other spectacles, where they see different visions than what the normal person is experiencing and seeing. And sensing. And <laughs> sensing. So David understood that he needed loyalty towards God mm -hmm. and his principles so that he can stay an open gateway for the Lord's purpose to prevail in his life and also to be manifested in his life, to be able to be led by the Spirit of God and to experience the goodness of God in this land of the living. Yeah. He says here in Psalms 51 verse 7 to 11, he says, purify me. From my sins. Yeah, Lord, purify me. He says, and I will be clean. Mm -hmm. Wash me. Wash me. And I will be whiter than snow. Ooh, ooh. He says, oh, give me back my joy again. Mm. You have broken me. <laughs> now let me rejoice. Yes. He says, don't keep looking at my sins. Mm. Remove the stain of my guilt. Amen. Then he says, Clean, uh, uh, create in me a clean heart, O oh God. Renew a loyal spirit. Listen to this. Renew a loyal spirit within me. He says, do not banish me from your no, presence. No, no, no. And don't take your Holy Spirit from no, me. No. Oh, my word. I want to say to you that God is moving upon his people. And God says, I'm calling out that loyal spirit in you. I'm calling out that committed spirit in you. I'm calling out my intentions for your life. But I need you to know that I'm loyal towards you. Mm -hmm. I need you to know that I'm fully committed to you. Yes. And I'm calling you into realms that you've not experienced before. I'm calling you into spaces that are sacred, that I've reserved for you, where I've hidden treasures in darkness that you've never put your eyes on. But because of the glory of mine that is shining upon Amen. you, it will be revealed to you in this special time, in this moment that I've reserved for you before the foundations of the earth. I'm experiencing God's tangible presence leaving this, leaving us right Amen. now. I'm, I'm just, it's, it's amazing what I'm experiencing. Amen. God's presence is all over this. Colossians 3 verse 5 in the Amplified says, So kill. <laughs> God is violent against anything that is not of him. Listen, yeah. God doesn't play around with words. He doesn't hushy, hushy, cushy, cushy. <laughs> okay. He's saying literally in Afrikaans, well, in, in South Africa, we've got a word that says, you know, if you want to kill something, just tell it futsak. Okay. It has to leave your life. Yeah. Kill it. Okay. It says, so kill, deaden, deprive of power, mm. the evil desire lurking in your members. Those animal impulses and all that is earthly in you that is employed in sin. I want to say to you, sin is not just an action. Sin is a spirit. Mm -hmm. We need to see it as a spirit. Sin is a yeah. spirit. Do you engage with the Holy Spirit or do we engage with a sinful nature, which is a spirit? Okay. In sexual vice, impurity, sensual appetites, unholy desires, and all greed and covetousness, that, for that is adultery, the defying of self and, and other created things instead of God. So God says, get rid of all things that's not of me in your life. And, and so God is upgrading us. God is taking care of his people in a supernatural way. I see people taking on projects in the natural, which you know it's only God's spirit, <laughs> God, I God's mean, mir miracles that will make yeah. it happen. Possibly. Just like we are in today. <laughs> yeah. Exciting. <laughs> Exciting, yes. So the power of loyalty provides a sense of security mm -hmm. and belonging. That's what the power of loyalty does. Loyalty goes both ways in our relationship with God. If we want to grow, if we want to experience the manifestation of divine loyalty, we need to abandon, we need abandonment and we need the abandonment of selfishness. We need to abandon selfishness. 
you know, selfish lives cannot know what matters to God. It's impossible. Selfish lives will never be loyal to God. Selfish lives will always disown God in challenging times. Mm. I've, I've just, you know, and I'm going to close with the scripture um, and then we're going to have communion. But, you know, it troubled my heart when I read the scripture, which Paul pinned down when he wrote this letter to the people in Philippi. He says here in Philippians chapter 2, verse 20 to 22, For I have no one like him. Him is Timothy. He says to the people of Philippi, Philippi, he says, For I have no one like Timothy, no one of so kindred a spirit, who will be so genuinely interested in your welfare and devoted to your interests. Mm. Oh man, where are those people today? <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm but telling you, be. God is coming against Anything, selfishness. Yeah. If we can only engage with his agenda, mm -hmm. wow. we will see Amazing. the manifestation mm. of glory that will settle matters in our natural circumstances mm. that will blow our mind away. Truly, truly. Yeah. You know, this the culture out there is just about me. Me, me, and me and my myself. That's contrary, yeah. con completely contrary to the culture of God's God. kingdom. Yeah. It's all about God. others, it's all about him, it's not about me. But because it's all about others and it's all about him, he makes it all about me. <laughs> 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 and that's the way God sets you up. That's just the way God sets us up. Amen. Where is that spirit? Mm -hmm. Because that's a God spirit. That's God spirit. Yes. He goes on to say, for the others, and those are people that serve in God, okay? Mm -hmm. For the others all seek to advance their own interests, not those of Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Oh, my word. May I get lost in the heart of God so that I'll always serve his interests and not mine. Yeah. Verse 22 says, but Timothy's tested worth, you know, how as a son with his father, he has toiled with me zealously in serving and helping to advance the good news, the gospel. So that's the heart of God. So there are people rising across this planet yes, all over. that are experiencing the divine manifestation of loyalty and commitment from God's throne through uh, fr throne room towards them. They are experiencing that. These people will express the fruit of the Spirit. Why? Because they will be captured by the Spirit of God and no other Spirit. People that love God and as ears to ear will not be able to be satisfied with super, superficial yeah. Christianity which makes it all about them. It will not be about to serve oneself, but to serve God, His people, His purpose, His intentional purpose mm -hmm. for this time. Amen. I'm releasing this word over your life. Mm. I pray that God will saturate your heart with His presence. You, I pray that God will tangibly touch you wherever you find yourself. And that where we have any selfishness, and we all yes. have, we all have. Mm -hmm. I catch myself as well with this. But I want it to die. Yeah. Because the more selfless I become, the more I'm filled with His purpose. Thank you. The more I'm filled with His intentions. Yes. The more I'm filled with the invasion of His glory. And the more I allow Him to express Himself through my life. And the more I become an open door for him to have his way. His way. Yes. To have his way. Today, if you do not know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, before we're going to have communion, I want to invite you to give your life to him. I want to invite you to consecrate your life to him. And even if you do know Jesus, I want you to pray this prayer with me. If you want to know Jesus, 
Firstly, encounter his love because you've never met him. Please pray this pray, prayer with me. And if you do know Jesus, but you want to consecrate your life in a deeper level, in deeper way, and cross the thresholds that has tried to limit you, you want to do that. You, you need to pray this prayer with me as well. Let's all pray together. Let's say, Dear Heavenly Father. Dear Heavenly Father. Let's say it again. Dear Heavenly Father. Dear Heavenly Father. I come to you today. I come to you today. I lay down my life. I lay down my life. For you. For you. To you. To you. I ask you. I ask you, Lord. To have your way. To have your way. I consecrate myself. I consecrate myself. I lay my life down. I lay my life down. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. I believe. I believe. Jesus. Jesus is your son. Is your son. He died on the cross. He died on the cross. For my sin. For my sin. To save me. To save me. On the third day. On the third day. He raised from the dead. He raised from the dead. And today. And today. He is alive. He is alive. Jesus. Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Be my God. Be my God. Be my Savior. Be my Savior. And be my Lord. And be my Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I thank you. I thank you. I'm born again. I'm born again. I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm your child. I'm your child. From today. From today. I will serve you. I will serve you. Amen. Amen. Now, if you prayed this prayer, you'll have the QR code. QR code coming on the on the screen. I hope it's there, Jock. Uh, if it's not, or you can just pop us a mail and let us know um, we, that you prayed this prayer. We just want to send you some literature and just have contact with you, if that's okay with you. But then I'm, I'm going to be praying now as we're going to have communion, that we will go into a deeper level of consecration with the Lord um, in this time and in this hour. I do believe that deep is calling unto deep. Um, you know, that God is extracting a new version of who we are, that things have been dormant for just too long, and that there's an awakening taking place in our lives, just like Daniel. Mm -hmm. Amen. You want to say anything else? No, it just seems today really that God shows me his blood, and his blood is talking to us yeah. every second, every moment. That blood is alive and it's talking to you and it wants to save you it wants to restore you and it wants to heal you from anything and even fill you uh, i just sense uh, i see the mercy seat and i see the blood that the blood of jesus is speaking to us and um, he's calling us to higher places and i think today we must when we have communion we must um, know that <laughs> he's doing everything in us and through us we need him so much and uh, also if there are situations in your life today that needs to be corrected by the spirit of god mm -hmm. i believe god is going to correct it for you i believe 2024 is going to be a year of supernatural invasion supernatural settlements that will take place by the Spirit of God, by providing for His people. I believe that people are being raised up in His purpose, and because it's His purpose and it's His intentions, that God will provide everything you need to do what God has called you to do. There are business people that God has called for the business. God is saying, expand. Mm. God is saying, plant. Mm -hmm. God is saying, you will harvest. Don't hesitate. You're Don't hesitate. Mm -hmm. God is with you. God is going to get wet. out of the boat. <laughs> God is going to wet <laughs> your crop. Yes. He's going to water your crop mm -hmm. and your seeds will sprout and they will be 200. fruitful. Yes, will Tracy Ann, it's so good to see you on the broadcast. You and Julien, we haven't forgotten about you. We'll arrange some time at the Chateau with you. Um, we want to spend time with people and uh, we just got unfortunately so much time <laughs> and uh, we can't wait for the people to come and join us at the retreat and uh, we can't uh, wait to see you at our conferences 
you cannot miss Cape Town. It's filling up. You cannot miss the conference uh, on the 11th. And you cannot miss the conference uh, also on the um, 18th uh, in Johannesburg of May. It's going to be power packed. It's going to be glory invasion all the way. Uh, miracles, mm -hmm. shifts are going to happen. Settlements is going to take place. God showed me very, very clearly that when he, his glory invades, he settles things according to his purpose. Amen. Praise God. I'm praying for debt. I'm also just experiencing mm. um, people that are struggling yeah. with debt. They've got mm. mountains of debt they are facing. I'm coming against that debt, a uh, mountain of debt, and I cancel that debt in Jesus' name. I cancel that debt. You know, God can do it in, in Jesus one name. second. In one second, yes. Yeah. I'm just, God is moving things. He's removing yeah. mountains. He's moving, like you've he's been. moved the stars. He's moving you. Yeah. Your... I'm, I'm just see, yeah. sensing God is moving mountains. He's just taking them out of the way. Mm. He doesn't want you to climb that out that mountain. He just wants to sp you to speak to that mountain. It's been removed, removed, removed in Jesus' name. Amen. And we have to live accordingly. We have to speak life. Yes. Don't be negative in your words. I, I sense these people that, you know, you say amen, but uh, oh, this is so tough. I'm, I'm in this turmoil of tornado in my life. It's all over. I'm not going to make it. Mm. Get rid of that um, wording in your life. Mm. Speak life. Sure. God wants to do it for you. The presence of God's flowing. Mm. I just sense there are people even being healed on this broadcast without even me praying for you, me and sis. Mm -hmm. People are being healed. And there's people no are distance being for the Lord. Eh? No distance. Mm -hmm. No distance. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to see what the Lord is doing. So mm. beautiful. So beautiful. So intentional. So surgical. So surgical. So much precision mm. in what the Lord is doing. And you know, the moment we start moving in realms in the spirit, God gives us different vision in those realms. And we're calling out that what is existing in the fourth dimension to be established in this dimension mm. we are living in, the yes. natural dimension. Amen. Yes, but we saw so many miracles when you were in South Africa. We, we just want to thank the Lord for it. I yeah. mean, and he's doing something unique and new today, you know, because people say, oh, we've seen that before we... Now we got the T-shirt. We we have seen everything, but you know you haven't seen anything yet because the Lord is setting us up for new things. Yeah, I've called out someone, um, not the name, but I said there's a man that's uh, closed artery, you know, uh, cholesterol problem, the heart, and stuff. And that person sent me a uh, testimony how that area heated up, and they went for a test. And uh, that person is completely healed. Um, the artery was unclocked by the Spirit Amen. of God over this broadcast now, yes. this Tuesday evening. So things are happening. Yeah. Things are happening. Expect uh, it. Expect it. Mm. Raise your level of expectancy. Yeah, thank you. Amen. Amen. And I'm praying also for marriages. I'm praying that marriages will be in unity like never before. And they will be strong and move in the full purpose yeah, of because God. Because you go and break a th uh, three cord um three stranded yeah cord cord sorry Amen. sorry for that <laughs> <laughs> it's unbreakable it's a chain praise god amen so we're going to have uh um communion let's get the bread close and then also the grape juice it's going to be special yes so i want to read to you from matthew chapter 26 verse 26 right through to 28 but the word of God says, as they were eating, Jesus took some of the bread and blessed it. Then he broke it and to pieces and he gave it to his disciples and saying, take this, ease, uh, take this and eat it, for this is my body. So let's take the bread, let's break it, give it to your spouse if you are married, if you are alone. Break it with the Holy Spirit, give him a piece and you take the other piece <laughs> and uh, he'll just tell you eat both. That's fine. <laughs> well, if you're on your own. Amen. So let's um, let's take the bread now. And before we do, I just want to pray this prayer. Father God, I thank Amen. you now in Amen. Jesus' name that as we take this bread for unity in your body, thank you, Father God, for hearts that are being knitted together. Thank you, Father God, that you are raising up an army 
that will march as one, that will act as one, that will be selfless, that will lay down their lives, that will pay the price, that will sacrifice and consecrate themselves, Father God, in a way that they have not done in the past. And as they do so, Father God, I thank you that your body, your body, Father God, as your people individually today and corporately are experiencing your glory in a tangible way as they eat this bread right now in Jesus' mighty name. I pray now, Father God, that as your people are eating this bread, that they are reminded that they are born with a purpose, yes. that they are being united with their purpose, divine purpose that you've placed on their lives before time began. And Father God, now, as we eat this bread, thank you for uniting us with your heart, uniting us with your movement, uniting us with your divine purpose for our lives, and that we are surgically being removed from any corrupted thing yes. in our and lives in Jesus' us, mighty Jesus. name. Thank you, Father. We give you all the glory and all the praise that all our sins are forgiven and that we are holy before you, covered in the blood, washed in the blood, in Jesus' mighty name. Mm. Mm. And Father... As we will be taking this cup, the word of God says in verse 27, <coughs> and he took a cup of wine and gave thanks to God for it, he gave it to them and said, each yes. of you drink from it, for this is my blood, which confirms the covenant between God and his people. It is poured out as a sacrifice to forgive the sins of many. Father God, we thank you as we take this cup. We thank you, Father God, that we are reminded of what the blood does, did for our lives and still does for our lives every day. It's the door that's, that allows the glory, your glory, to come into our lives. It's the door, Father God, that positions us, the gateway that positions us to receive everything that you mm -hmm. have intended for our lives in Thanks. this time. As we take this cup today, we are reminded, Father God, that we are standing holy before you because of the blood. That we are standing clothed with the gift of righteousness because of the blood. We thank you for the garment of righteousness that we are being clothed in right now. We thank you that we are saved, sanctified and set apart for your divine purpose in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. The blood speaks over our lives yes, and does it all for us. Thank you. We give you all glory you, and all Jesus. praise in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Let's take the cup. Thank you, people. I pray also now, Father God, for any infirmity, yes. for any sickness Must go Jesus. that might occur in people's lives right now that are listening or going to watch on Restream. I pray that healing, your healing power, comes over their lives now, over their bodies, removing all sickness, removing all infirmity, removing any darkness yes. in their lives, any spirit that is not of you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we release this over their lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Praise God. We love you much. Yes. And uh, we'll be praying for you, and we are looking forward in seeing you this coming Tuesday again on Awakening True Image and Likeness. Love you much. From, from our, our hearts house. to your hearts, from our house to your <laughs> house. Love you. Ciao, ciao.
and I never will forget when I think of how you blessed me and how your hand has never let me go. Never let me go. You have been so. Me clean for the wrongs that you've written, and I know you're able, and my eyes don't have to see one more reason to believe. Cause when I think of how you blessed me and how your hand has never. Have a beautiful and blessed week. God bless you next week.